Hello you two, Mr. Mallon here and we're going to doing some art this afternoon or it might be the morning for you guys if you're at home. So our learning intention is to link colours to natural and man-made or human-made objects. So we need to explain the difference between natural and human-made. So natural is something that grows or is found naturally without having to be built or made. Human-made means something that has to be built by a person. I can sort objects and materials into natural and human-made. So we're going to be looking at different objects and materials and deciding if they're natural, that they just exist and grow or happen naturally, or if they're human-made, that someone has to make them and build them. And I can describe and compare the colours of natural and human-made objects. So we're going to be looking at colours of human-made human -made and natural objects. So here's a quiz. Natural or human-made? Which of these is a natural material? Lemonade? cola, water or ice cream. Pause the video and decide which answer you're going to choose. Okay, which one did you go for? Water. It would be nice to have a river made from lemonade though, I have to admit. Number two, which of these is dug out of the ground? Wood, plastic, coal or wool? Pause the video, choose an answer. Did you get it? Well, coal, wool and wood are all natural materials, but coal is the only one that comes out of the ground. Number three, which one of these materials is natural? Would it be nylon, rock, plastic or polythene? Polythene is a type of plastic. Did you get it? It's rock. Number four, this toy duck is made from plastic. Plastic is a something material. Is it a natural material? man-made, rare, or precious? Pause the video, choose an answer. Man-made. Somebody actually has to build it and make it. Which one of these materials grows on an animal? Cotton, rubber, wood, or wool? So pause the video, choose an answer. It is wool. Wool grows on a sheep. Which one of these materials is natural? Nylon, cotton, polythene, or polystyrene? The answer is cotton. This statue is made from marble. Marble is a weak material, elastic material, man-made material, or natural material. Well, marble is a type of rock, and rocks are natural. It's a natural material. Number eight, Amy is building a sand castle. Sand is a natural material, rare material, man-made material, or a fizzy material. Well, sand is something that you find on a beach. Nobody actually builds or makes sand. So sand would be a natural material. This toy plane is made from wood. Wood is a man-made material, natural material, weak material, or a bendy material. Which one do you think? Well, wood comes from trees. It's chopped from the trees. So it would be a natural material. Which one of these is man-made or human-made? Oranges, apples, plastic bags or tomatoes? Which one do you think? Be a bit worried if oranges, apples and tomatoes are human-made. I think the only one that's actually human-made or man-made would be the plastic bags. Wow, 10 out of 10. Good job. Okay, let's go back to our learning intentions. So the next job is on your sheet. I'd like you to sort the materials into natural and human made. So take a look at each picture and decide whether you're going to put it into natural or human made. You can cut them out from your sheet or if you want to you can draw and write them into the boxes. It's entirely up to you. So pause the video, give that a go, then once you've sorted the materials hit play and we'll see how you did. Okay let's see how you did. So let's have a look at paint. Is that natural? Is it human made? But I've never seen paint grow by itself, so I think it must be human made. People have to make it. 
How about wood? Would that be natural or would it be human made? Well, it grows on trees, so it must be natural. Wool. Is wool natural or is it human made? What do we think? Well, it grows on animals like sheep, so it must be natural. How about stone? What do we think of stone? Would stone be a natural material or a human made material? Well, I've never, people build things out of stone, but I've never seen anyone actually make a stone, so I think it must be natural. How about sand? Is that natural or is it human made? Is it made by people? Well, sand is actually natural. You find it on beaches, usually washed up by the ocean. Paper. Natural or human made? Well, paper is made from wood, but it's not just wood. It's also got, I've got a lot of human made chemicals. So although part of it is natural, other parts of it are human made. So I'm, we're going to pop that in the human made section. Ice. Where do we put ice? Is that natural or human made? Well, ice is just frozen water. In the North Pole, the Antarctic, people don't make the ice, it happens naturally. So again, to put that in natural. And then plastic. What do we think, natural or human made? I think it's going to be human made because people build it and make it. Okay, let's have a look at the next task then. What colours do you see in the natural pictures? So have a look at the natural pictures. What colours do you see? Write a list of them, hit pause, write your list, and then hit play when you're ready. Okay, I can see lots of browns, greys, and beiges. They're quite dull colours, quite dark colours as well. So what colours do you see in the natural pictures? I saw brown, comma, grey, and beige. Okay, what colours do you see in the human made pictures? So now pause the video, have a look at the human made pictures and think about what colours you can see. Then hit play once you've written them down. I can see lots of bright, vivid colours like red, blue, green and yellow. So what colours do you see in the human made pictures? I can see bright, colours like red, blue and yellow. Okay, final one says choose the words to fill the gaps. Brighter, dull, vivid or darker. Man-made or human things have something something colours, but natural things have something something colours. So choose the words to fill the gaps. Vivid means quite bright and dull means quite dark and boring. Once you've done that, if you have time, perhaps you can find something natural outside or inside your home. Have a go at drawing it and then choose some colours to colour it in with. Think about what colours you might try and use to colour in a natural material. I can't wait to see all of your work today, guys, and I'll look forward to talking to you very, very soon. Have fun, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.